Hi, this is Radio Kiela and today I want to share some nice discovery of mine regarding the CV gate mod of Cork Mono Tribe. Let's see. So, first uh, let's hear a sequence. As usual it is um, uh, receiving uh, CV information from my oscillator. So, it sounds quite fine, but not almost. Uh, let's bring on something. Okay, what is the trick for it? Um, I discovered that Monotribe's very own sync out output could be used as a gate uh, as a gate in. So uh, this gives us this fun sounding patch. Uh, let's hear it once again without. Uh, Sync out patched to gate in. Hey, wait, wait a second. Ah, it's because of the filter, I guess. Ah, no, no, no. It's because of the tempo. So, once again, I demonstrate. We found gate out. We've got that. So, Monotribe's sequencer is running and you could think uh, what, what difference does it make when you are patching its own uh, uh, gate, uh, tempo, uh, signal back to itself. Uh, shouldn't it be the same tempo, you may ask, but uh, yes, in most cases it would be the same tempo. However, I'm using uh, Monotribe uh, in a mode of inverted trigger. So, when trigger is low, it uh, um, triggers the gate. So, in this mode, when I'm feeding the gate out back to it, it uh, makes these uh, nice uh, fluctuations, as you are hearing. Yes, each incoming gate signal advances uh, its uh, sequence step one step. So, if you are not uh, sending it uh, a constant 
house signal as I do now, uh, it would be even funnier because you could have some nice swing to it. But even the patching uh, monotribes get out uh, back to itself, as you see, you could achieve some really nice sounding results, uh, especially together with uh, CV modulation from some external source.